All right, guys, so here's a quick update on what's been happening the last two weeks, three weeks. Um, me and three other auditors have been charged with organized crime and false 911 call. The corners doesn't have the 911 call, which put a $105,000 bond on all of us. Um, it's, it's, it's a pretty crazy, nasty situation. Um, I, it's myself, Corners News, Blue the Blue Line Watcher, and American First, uh, Mel and Brandon. Um, or how to explain all this. Uh, we were going to Corrigan for a protest. Pretty obvious why we were going to Corrigan. I went to Livingston to pick up Mel and Brandon because their car had just broke down. And somebody or somebody's called 911 because I was open carrying when I walked 50, 60 feet, something like that. For uh, from the car to their front door and back and uh, later that night after we finished uh, with Corrigan we did a little bit of cop watching and they didn't like that either um, it's all bullshit crappy charges um, the 911 you can't swat yourself with the law they picked they, they, they literally ignored half the statute Organized crime, they didn't actually charge us with any other crimes, just organized crime, which isn't the way that works. And their theory is that um, we're making money on YouTube, so it's an organized crime ring. So, uh, I don't know, something along the lines of if you do more than one constitutional pr protected activity at a time, it's a felony. And they got a judge to sign off on it. So we're in for a pretty long fight on this. Mel and Brandon are still in jail. They do not have the assets to pay for a $105,000 bond or a house to put up for it. <sighs> Looks like the goal of this entire thing is just to process as the punishment kind of thing and put Mel and Brandon in jail until their lives are ruined and dismiss the trial, dismiss, dismiss the charges two years from now or some damn thing like that. It's the only thing we can figure that's the plan. Um, Ismail and myself were able to turn in in the San Antonio area with a friendly bondsman, thanks to Alamo, band, uh, Alamo Bail Bonds. Um, and he gave us a pretty decent deal, which we're out of jail so far, but we've still got to come up with a lot of money. Um, don't know where this is going to go from now. Uh, we don't have court dates, so I don't think anybody's got a court date set yet. Um, Ismail and myself, we've never asked for money before, but at this point, with all the damage they're doing to us, we're both setting up uh, a channel support, or um, if you guys want to help out any way you can. Uh, Ninja is going to be organizing a fundraiser for Mel and Brandon. Um, since they're in jail, they can't do it themselves, so Ninja and some others are going to have to do it on their behalf. So when that uh, information comes up, and if there's going to be any um, other activity, I'll be posting that over on my community tab or make a quick video so you guys can help them out. Um, what else to say? I I'm not going to tell you guys what to do, because I'm sure they'll just twist that into some other charge or bond condition or threat. If uh, me or Ismail or any of our others make any kind of uh, requests for things to happen. Um, keep on the lookout for more information. Um, not going to do a legal analysis here, but some other guys will be. Uh, CJ Grisham in Open Carry, Texas have already done a little bit of a meandering, but a pretty decent update on the how the laws have been twisted on this and basically violated. If um, just pay attention to what's going on. This is the kind of thing that Leon Valley and Joe Salvaggio tried to do to everybody there, but the judges and district attorneys over there didn't want to uh, act unlawfully and take those charges up, so they never got pushed on, but Joe tried. And it looks like for the first time in Texas, a different city is trying the same thing, and this time they think they can get away with it. Um, 
we don't know how long this fight's going to last. For James Freeman, San Antonio held on to that charge for two or three years before they finally dismissed it. We could be in for the same kind of long haul here. So, it's probably going to be a slow fight. It's not going to be a fun fight. And we're going to need all the support you guys can get. Um, I said, myself, Corners News, Blue the Blue Line Watcher, and American First. I'll link everybody else's channel down in the description so you can check them out if you've never heard of them before. Um, Mel and Brandon are just a couple locals in Livingston who uh, got tied up with Corrigan. Uh, America First was arrested several times by Corrigan for recording the police station. And just like uh, Batosai was. And uh, it looks like the whole county is uh, just going to behave the same way. So I'll keep you guys updated. Um, thanks for anything you can do to help everybody out on this one.